ahead and start our graph. Do you guys remember every graph either starts at the maximum, at the minimum, or at the middle? Do you remember where cosine started? Maximum. Cosine started up top. So we're going to start the cosine graph up top at 3. And if it's at the top, where does it go from there? It's got to go down to the middle. So at that tick mark, it'll be at the middle. And after the middle, it's going to go to the all the way to the bottom. So at pi, it's over at the bottom. Then it's got to go back to the middle, to the middle and then to the top. top. So you can kind of see the dots. If you reproduce that on the other side in the same pattern, Are you going to judge us on our wave because mine looks Yes, different. judged. <clears throat> Let's see. Because you can't have it be pointy, so I don't know how to do it Artistic if it's not pointy. Um, I'm quite, yeah, like, you, you need to go on up to that oh, spot. Wait, I didn't, you know I didn't I mean? even see that one. <laughs> that's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that, that's what we want to work on a little bit, okay? All right. Uh, the next one, instead of y equals negative sine x, we do y equals negative sine of pi x. Okay, we're going to do y equals negative sine of uh, pi x. So I'm going to switch that one. We're going to do that one instead. And so I start by identifying the amplitude. What is the amplitude? One. It's always positive. Okay. And then the period. 2 pi divided by pi, which is 2. So I take 2 pi divided by whatever value is in front of x. And notice the value is pi. So I divide that, those cancel, and I get 2. All right. So I'm going to mark off 2. And then my amplitude, I mark off positive 1 and negative 1. Do you remember where sine starts? Uh, in the middle. Always. Sine always starts in the middle. If it's positive, we say sine starts in the middle and heads up. But if it's negative, it heads down. We go through our pattern. Any questions on that one? No, but my waves are getting better. Good, good. Ella, how are your waves? Landon, how are your waves? Landon. Okay, he's covering up his sheet. That's not a good sign. Okay. I'm seeing a lot of points. Holy good boy. What? <laughs> it looked like the rock <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> what do Henry's would look like? Oh, he's not good. All right. What's the amplitude for this one? Four. What's the period? Two. Because two pi divided by pi is two. 
mark off two again. Where do I start? I start in the middle. And you work your way up. How come? And it becomes positive. Yep, sign's positive, so sign wants to start in the middle and head on up. So where I where I start to take points off is when I see this, okay? Noted. Okay, so that's mine's not quite that artistic, but it's working. It's um I think you're okay. Thanks. I think you're okay too. What do you think about mine? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> your first one was uh, I take points off on that first one. No, because I had to redo it again because I didn't mean. That's why you use pencil. Yeah, but I like pen. What is math and pen? Yeah. Confident. Yeah, exactly. You gotta be pretty confident in your math and pen. I do my notes in pen. Okay. Yep. You do you. Sure. Yeah. All right. Last one. Amplitude and period. Obviously, the amplitude is two, and for the period, I take two pi. And I divide it by what? What is the number in front of x? Um, well, is it negative cosine? No, so I think it's one. one. Is it three? Is it negative three? No. Nope. Is it negative one? No. Nope. Is it positive one? No. Nope. Is it negative two? Five. <laughs> it's negative two. It's two. All right. I get so, every number up there. X over 3 is the same as 1 third X. Well, that's not getting that. So see how those two are the same? Yeah, I guess. Dividing by 3 is the same as multiplying by 1 third. Those mean the same thing. So when you see X over 3, it's going to be 2 pi divided by 1 third. How do I divide by 1 third? And so dividing by a third, I multiply by? The reciprocal, which is? 3. So I end up with 2 pi times 3, which is 6 pi. So the period is 6 pi. So I'm going to mark off 6 pi. I'll divide it in half to get 3 pi. What if I take 3 pi and divide that in half? What do I get? 3 pi over 2. The third tick mark is always three times the first tick mark. What is three times three pi over two? Nine pi over two. You good with that, JJ? Yeah. And copy the same things down on the other side. JJ, I did some bench press last night. Did you? Yep. Do you want to turn my home? A little. Little kind of workout station. You use dumbbells or what? No, I actually got a bench. Oh, that's more than a little, a little gym setup. Got everything marked out. And now I got to figure out where to go from here. It's cosine. Where do I start? Uh, you start at the top. Actually, no. Uh, why do I start at the bottom? Yeah, so cosine wants to start at the top, but if there's a negative sign, that means we create a flip. And so we would flip down to negative 2. Wait,
How are we doing, Liz? Would you like to interject a question? I don't know where to start. <laughs> what the heck happened with Steve? What? I don't even know where you're getting any of these numbers. <laughs> oh, that's right. Well, you were here yesterday. I was not. Yeah, that makes sense. Watch a video from yesterday. We'll do a couple problems on your assignment together. Good? Where'd you get P from? That's the. 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 That's the